we're ready to talk about longitude. In the last video, we learned all about the lines of latitude, which help us organize locations on the Earth. Now we're going to talk about lines of longitude. Longitude line reference point is the prime meridian. The prime meridian is at zero degrees, and the prime meridian is located in Greenwich, England. It divides the Earth into the eastern and western hemispheres. If you look, this is the prime meridian. It is highlighted in red, and every location on the, this side of the Earth would be considered west. Every location on this side of the Earth would be considered in the eastern hemisphere. So let's take notes. Lines of longitude are called meridians, hence the prime meridian. Meridians are not parallel. Instead, they touch or connect at the north and south poles. So in this picture, we can see up here the prime meridian running through Greenwich, England. It also runs through other locations on Earth as well but we use Greenwich, England as a reference point. But if you notice at the top, the North Pole, all of these lines of longitude come from this Northern Pole. They meet here. And at the same point of the South, in the South Pole, the lines of longitude come out from there, dividing the Earth into Eastern and Western hemispheres. So there is a method of how we can find our longitude using certain pieces of information. Our longitude can be determined if you know the time in Greenwich, England, which is where the prime meridian goes through, and if you know your local time of where you are on Earth. And here are some steps to finding our longitude. This is very important to take notes on. Because the Earth takes 24 hours to rotate 360 degrees, we would divide 360 degrees by 24 hours, which gives us 15 degrees per hour. If your local time is earlier than Greenwich, then you are west of the prime meridian. If your local time is later than Greenwich time, then you are east of the prime meridian. We remember this by remembering the acronym WHEEL. It stands for West Early, East Later. Something else that's very important for us to copy down and star in your notes. West Early, East Later. This is an example of a problem that we can help determine our, la our line of longitude. If it's noon in New York, our local time, and it's 4 p.m. in Greenwich, England, what is your line of longitude? Well, to use this, we do a few steps. Step one is to find the time difference. So we know that it's noon in New York, and it's 4 p.m. in Greenwich. Therefore, there's a time difference of four hours. Step two, we multiply that time difference by 15 degrees. 4 hours times 15 degrees is 60 degrees. Therefore, your line of longitude is 60 degrees. Now, for step 3, we need to determine is that 60 degrees east or is that 60 degrees west? Well, to do that, we need to look back at our problem and we see that 12 noon in our local time is earlier than 4 p.m. So, because it's early, we know west early east later, so we are in the west. We are at 60 degrees west. Here's a problem for you to do. If you need to pause and go back to the previous problem to follow the steps, then you may do so. Here is another problem. Polaris is at 25 degrees from your horizon. Local noon occurs two hours later at your location than the prime meridian. What are your coordinates? We're going to do this one together because the information that we have to start with is a little different from the previous problem. Well, we need to find our two coordinates because that's what it says in the problem. What are your coordinates? 
So we know because the altitude of Polaris equals your line of latitude, we know that we're located at 25 degrees north. Now we have to look at our line of longitude, and to figure that out, we know that the time difference is two hours. And it also says it's later at our location than it is at the prime meridian. So if it's two hours is our time difference, we then need to multiply that by 15 degrees. So we multiply that to get 30. And we know we're at east because it's later. West early, east later. So our line of longitude is 30 degrees east. Here's one more problem for you to discover on your own. Take some time to figure it out. Again, if you need to go back and review and rewind the previous pages of our video and listen to the steps again, you may do so. And here's one more problem. You are standing on the prime meridian and the altitude of Polaris is 50 degrees from your horizon. Where are you? In your notes, write down the two coordinates for your location. Now you're going to need to take out your reference table. Open to page three. You will see a map of New York State. This map is broken down into lines of latitude and lines of longitude. You will notice them all along the edges of the state of New York. So we know that going across is our latitude. Let's see where we begin our lines of latitude. The lowest line of latitude I see is down here at 40 degrees 30. Then we have 41 degrees. Then we go at 42 degrees, and if you go across, you'll notice the 42 degree mark is also noted on the west side of New York. Moving upwards, we have 43 degrees on the west side, and it runs across, oops, excuse my crooked line, to 43 degrees over here. 44 degrees, again, meets up with 44 degrees on this side. And we have 45 degrees, which is at the very north of New York State, and it runs across the top, okay? So there's our lines of latitude. If you would like to take a ruler and connect these lines of latitude yourself with a pencil, you may do so. It's a good reference to have. Clearing the table, now we can look at our lines of longitude. And if you notice, it's done similarly, except as you see, it goes in the opposite directions. So let's look and see what our furthest point uh, east is for our lines of latitude, uh, longitude. Excuse me. The furthest point east I see is 72 degrees. This line of longitude will run up and down. And then we have 73 degrees over here. And we have 74 degrees down here at the bottom towards New York City. And we have 74 degrees at the top here at New York State. These lines can also be connected. Again, please excuse my crooked line. Actually, that one's not too bad. Moving further west, we have 75 degrees up here at the top of New York State by Messina. And we have 75 degrees down by the border of New Jersey going downward south. 76 degrees by north of Watertown and the St. Lawrence River can be connected with the line of longitude down here at this point by Binghamton, 76 degrees. And you could go further across, connecting 77, 78, and 79 as well. Now this is all degrees west because we are all located in west of the prime meridian. I would take a pencil and also mark these lines of longitude. Again, having this grid on your map is just a really good reference. Now one of the things I want to draw your attention to are these halfway marks. If you notice, between each line of latitude, there is a little dash, which is the halfway point. And you'll notice it going all along the latitude lines, and you'll notice it also going along the lines of longitude. 
Now with maps, we don't call it a half. We actually have the map broken down by minutes. So each degree is 60 minutes. Therefore, we have 42 degrees, 43 degrees. Halfway between 42 and 43 degrees would be 30 minutes. So we would write this down as 42 degrees and 30 minutes, just like this. Forty-two degrees with a little circle, and then we have thirty minutes. And the minutes is indicated with a little line down. Okay, it's a little like apostrophe. Now we can see this is done for us in some of the locations on this map. Can you look around and see if you can find them? I see one down here at forty forty degrees thirty minutes. Okay, that's a line of latitude. And the other one would be located underneath the periodic table that you see over there. The other degree of uh, halfway point is 73 degrees 30 minutes. I see next to that. This is a line of longitude. And it's indicating that this is halfway between 73 degrees and 74 degrees west. Okay, so this is important to note and we'll do further practice with this in class together. But for right now, that's all for our lines of latitude and our lines of longitude. And we'll, as I said before, we'll do some more practice with this in class. I will see you next time.